It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. How do you keep a culture with 115 people working in different buildings at night? Do they interact with each other? Do you get to interact with them? Like, how do, how do you intentionally build that culture to, to keep them happy and keep them around? It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Um, and to say we have it all figured out is not, is not true. I think we do pretty good, but we want to get to, to great. And I think the companies that can figure that out, especially in our space, and do the intangibles well. I mean, you can't, you have to clean well, and, and that's kind of permission to play, right? But mm-hmm. you know, the, the people that can figure out the culture, the recruiting, and, and the retaining of, of good people and the culture is harder to do. And then to your point, the, and, to, and to answer your question, no, none of them come to the office or anything like that. They go straight to the buildings. Um, and most of them, by the way, to your previous question, have full-time jobs during the day. Okay. And this is their second job to try to, you know, pay the bills, make ends meet. And they work anywhere from three to four hours a night, sometimes even two and a half to four hours a night. And that works well with kind of the model we've created because, um, you know, we do, we try to look for people that do have a stable job history and, and especially with their, their daytime job and they've been there four or five years. And, you know, that shows us that they're a worker. A lot, I've, I've found it's really hard to go from the couch playing video games to go cleaning the way we want them to clean because we're doing mostly class A office buildings that expect a lot. Um, so it, it, it is, uh, it's definitely a challenge, right? Um, we use a software called Swept, which is an industry specific software. I'm actually shared this. I think this is on the swept uh, uh, janitorial group right now, but um, it's a, it's a wonderful software. And one of the best things about it is the communication piece. There's essentially like a group text Mm -hmm. relocation and then a company wide. So we, we communicate a lot through there. Our area managers are out in the field, a lot building relationships with our team members, you know, as far as culture, I mean, that's an all encompassing term. There's a lot of, a lot of tentacles to that. Right. But, but, Overall, the approach we've taken is we are a relationship-based business, and we choose to be a relationship-based business, and that's the type of customer we want to go after that, that value that relationship um, in a working relationship, not just a transaction. And same with our team members. We look for people that you know can build relationships, with people that work late night, late at the building. Um, you know, but I think, I think I think culture comes down to. Um, you know, having that servant mentality and serving your people and kind of turning the org chart upside down and realize that my job is to serve everybody, uh, everybody else and our job, their managers are to serve our cleaners. And, and uh, I think if we, if we take that approach and we try to, what, what I always preach to our managers is, um, and I kind of use this as like a metaphor, but like every time a cleaner, when, when a cleaner comes in for their shift and you're meeting them or having a little huddle, you know, ask them how their family's doing before you ask them to go clean the toilet. And that's what we're trying to build. And that's what I've tried to build since the beginning that we truly care about you. We don't just, we're not bullshitting you, not BSing you, right? Uh, BSing here. Yeah. We're not BSing out there. Because because employees are smart. They're they're regular human beings like like everybody else, right? Um, so they, they know if you're bullshitting them. They know if you put a ping pong table in the break room, is that really going to, but does my boss really care about me? So they know. And if they know you're, if we hire good managers that have empathy for people and that really care for them, they'll run through a wall for you. So, you know, that's my take on culture. 